hello. Welcome to a small update about uh, my project, the project of uh, the conversion of a regular traditional boat uh, into a hybrid or full electric boat. Uh, today, I want to show some updates. Uh, I am concentrated in the house. Remember, guys, that uh, <coughs> the propulsion system is done, is finished. In this moment, my prototype of the propulsion system is uh, in the boat show of uh, Annapolis. Um, my friend uh, Alex Marron from uh, Imarwin Systems and the guys of uh, Electric Yachts, they are using my, my prototype in the, in the boat show. If you have the opportunity to visit the boat show this weekend, uh, try to visit the stand of uh, Imarwin Propulsion System and uh, Electric Yachts. Uh, they have my prototype over there and uh, I want to say thank you. If, uh, if you call to me, uh, if you enter in my website, in YouTube, uh, I accept donation. I need a lot of money to finish this project. Let me explain quickly uh, until this moment what elements are in place. And uh, after that, we are going to do a small videos in details about the installation, the wiring of each of those elements. Okay, guys, uh, here it is. Um, this is uh, the project. This is a panoramic of uh, the project. Uh, the battery bank. It's uh, two batteries, 48 volts in parallel. Uh, the AC input is the short power connection. And uh, here will be the connection from the output of the generator entering here. Uh, this is the automatic transfer switch. Uh, probably tomorrow I am going to create the video about the installation, the configuration, the wiring of uh, the automatic transfer switch. Uh, okay, this is the common, the output entering entering in the inverter charger as you can see this is the common the output this is the output in this position in this position will be entering the breaker the power coming from the breaker of the generator directly here we have generator here short power here and uh, the, the automatic transfer switch will, will be working in manual position or automatic in this project will be working in manual because uh, we don't have uh, contactors. Later, I'm going to explain what is the meaning of that. Okay, um, we have a, uh, we are going to refresh the DC, the DC side, 48 volts. I have a chunt. I have uh, the monitor for the chunt. I install an other DOD indicator. Uh, later, I'm going to explain what is the purpose of that. 48 volts, the chunt, 48 volts, entering in the links distributor. The link distributor receive power from uh, the solar, the solar panels, 48 volts, the solar panels. And uh, here we are going to connect the output of DC entering here positive and negative. And also we are going to integrate the power for the servo GX. <coughs> and we are going to integrate the servo GX with the rest of the equipment. Remember that the, the servo GX is the brain of the system. We are going to connect here the positions and we are going to integrate the servo GX with the inverter, with the MPPT, with the links distributor, with the chunt, and uh, also with the, uh, with the DC to DC converter. I make a mistake. I order an isolated DC to DC. I am going to replace for another one's smart to be integrated with the, with the servo GX. And of course, uh, from the output of the DC, 48 volts at the input, 48 volts, positive and negative, 48 volts, and the output 12 volt DC to fit the panel. The DC panel is uh, practically ready and we are going to connect some loads in the DC panel. Uh, this is the DC panel, it's ready. And the AC panel, the AC panel will be connected here with the AC output on the inverter charger. Okay, and here entering in the, in the, main, in the main breaker and we are going to fit all of those loads. I'm going to install lights on the roof uh, I am going to install a wonderful air conditioned unit, uh, 6000 BTUs, uh, some uh, loads here, outlets, and uh, this is the generator. I select this uh, Westerbeek 3.0. Uh, uh, this is basically because this is the small, the smallest that I have it. 3.0 is enough for this project. And uh, until this moment, those are the elements. We have a the galvanic isolator connected with the bonding conductor and the bonding conductor connected uh, with the sacrificial anode with the 
in this particular case the anode is in, a, in a magnesium but it will be zinc or aluminum doesn't matter depending on the boat depending on the type of water and the material of the hull we are you can select uh, the anode remember i explained that topic in my course of corrosion okay guys this is uh, this is the update uh the project is uh, is almost done uh i think a couple of weeks more probably and uh we are going to start with the wiring uh, individually each by each the connection of uh, all the loads and um and some tips and recommendations uh what is the idea guys uh the idea is uh, that you learn the process to convert your boat into a hybrid or electric boat it's not difficult you can do it by yourself uh, you can take my courses my courses of electricity remember with my book of uh, my basic electricity you learn dc ac and also my book of electronics marine electronics you can you can take those three courses in one package the, the, this is the electrical program in my academy marine technical training academy okay enter in my website www.mttedu.org and uh, you find the, the books uh, the courses uh, the programs and uh, updates about uh, this wonderful conversion the conversion of a typical boat into a full electric or hybrid boat